What's up manga fans and welcome back to another review of Bleach this week's chapter 634 friend 4 Now this chapter is definitely one of those chapters where you finish it and you're just left there upset and kind of cursing or crying whatever and pretty much thinking the same thing Kubo you evil little man but you still end up loving him for it because of chapters like this and this is why I continue to read Bleach. It's one of the main reasons because Kubo and his character development interactions, flashbacks, I've said this tons and tons of times before in the other reviews. This is what keeps me going. Because as I said, the story is still interesting, but that is not the strong point for me. It's the things like this that kind of make the narrative go along. We get to dwell into backstories. We start to care about characters and then you feel, you know, a bit of emotion when they're unfortunately taken away. And this is how this chapter felt. Kubo's done this before and he, he doesn't fail to do it again. And Basby was one of those characters who you weren't really interested in. The Sternwritters don't really have much um, interest at, you know, during the first and second invasion because there was nothing to go on. Don't get me wrong, I like Basby. A lot of people did as well because his interactions with Renji, his powers are bad and he has an attitude to go with it. But that was all we knew, so he was just a character you like. But when you know we delved more into his history you know and finding more out about his backstory and his friendship with Hashwad and the depressing nature of it and what it's become now you love that character and then unfortunately he's taken away from you just like that and you're just left there like I hate you Google, but I love you and yeah as I said I just can't you know emphasize how much I enjoyed this I, when I um, read it for the first time I had to read it again and again as I usually do but this one actually made me read it again and again because it was so well done and it's one of those things where I'm like please make an anime make the anime come back when Bleach ends because I could imagine all the music used the, vo um, the voice actors would be really well done all of that I just really want to see you know obviously this come to life animated and everything but yeah to go on to this chapter before I ramble a bit on it was very well as i said put out and it makes me think that this is the end not only for basby for um this flashback unless we see flashback from hashwald's um, point of view which could be interesting but it was so depressing and you know after we saw last week when hashwald cut um across um baz's chest we thought that might have done it but obviously he's still there um and he's still going on strong despite his injuries and Hashwal just seems so devoted to Juha, where he's like, us fighting will gain nothing from for his majesty. And Basby's like, that's exactly what, like, why does that matter to me? Exactly. He's like, I'm here to kill, um, you know, Juha anyway, so this is not really an issue to me. And then he activates his burner finger for. And this is where things get interesting because Hashwal, for the first time, shows some emotion other than his noctulent face. He actually screams out in rage um, Basby's full original name, Buzzard Black. And I was shocked by this because, you know, this guy's been stoic and noctulent following the orders. Even when he's intimidating people like Ishtar, he's always been, as I said, noctulent and very calm. But this is the first time this is in, you know, someone has invoked emotions out of him. And obviously his best childhood friend was, was is kind of the best choice or person to do that. And we see it in this chapter and it reminds me of obviously Ukiura when you know Ichigo made him kind of lose his cool when Ichigo kept trying to fight him despite being you know literally on death row and he's like it's useless stop trying this is the same kind of thing Basby is telling him it's useless you can't fight me stop it and you can tell as I said even though he's following Juha to some sort of degree of loyalty from what we see it seems like he is he still cares for Basby and in the past this is um very apparent as well where he's become the captain of the stone Rooters and basby is constantly trying to you know after he finally joins is trying to instigate basby into fighting him and he pretty much just um, brushes him off he's like stop fighting me you're not going to get any action out of me you'll be punished with a death point if any stone Rooters start fighting and then we have that hubert um general trying to mock saying ah oh, you keep um, getting pestered by a new recruit, maybe you're not worth um, being a captain. It's like, I can teach him a lesson for you if you want. And Hashwild repeats the same punishment, 
where um, obviously you know there will be a death penalty. And Hubert's like, oh, if um, Juha doesn't know, we can get away from it. And Hashra kind of like gives him a mean look, like in you know the notion where he does. I'll be watching. So that just shows you, Vasby is still you know precious to him, despite obviously them growing apart in those three years. And this is where in the present we find out that after Basby was left by Hashwald when he went off with um, Juha back, you know, when he was selected to become part of the Stern Ritter, as I said, he's become the captain of the Stern Ritter. He's obviously much more powerful. And this was in the three years they were separated. And, you know, Baz has joined and he's pretty much being left behind. And this is what creates the rift between because obviously Baz is kind of not accepting being weaker than Hashwa, he still can't accept it and he's trying to literally prove to himself kind of more than anyone that he's still stronger than um, Hashwa, which is not true because we both know well everyone knows that he's weaker and Hashwa is kind of obviously trying to brush him off for both their six and it's really as I said a conflicting um, relationship right there so this is um, when things get really emotional we kind of flash forward into the future uh, back into the present sorry and Basby gets his right arm cut off and when I saw that I just said yep yeah, this is giving me Gin vibes with Aizen versus um, Gin when you know his whole plan of stealing the Hogyoka completely went to the shitter and we have Basby and literally his final stand where he uses full burner fingers and that was brilliant as well another reason why I said I would love to see the anime show this animated because he's losing his absolute full power despite losing an arm and he's putting everything he can into this and a huge torrent of fire just comes towards Hashwild who simply dodges it and cuts him down the left side of his body and he is that's it that was the finishing blow and he's completely bleeding out he even grabs onto Hashwald's collar and it's like he's it was a really emotional scene between you know two friends that have now been you know forced to fight each other because of you know a misunderstanding and, and an arrogance on Baz B's side and it was really sad because he was there clinging to him and he could tell Hashrad was probably feeling pain himself and he says he thought before that if he lost to Hashrad it would be more painful shameful than this but he it seems like he's accepted it it's like you got me Hashrad I thought this would have been more painful but you got me and then Hashrad coldly just leaves him he walks up the stairs walks away Basby falls to the ground and he slowly, you know, his consciousness dwindles away and he starts to remember his first time um, meeting Hashwald, you know, you can become my subordinate. And it just made you think, wow, the, the, the feels, man, the tears. It was really, 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 really well done. And I can't, as I said, I can't fault Kubo for this flashback at all. I've really enjoyed it. I'm really sad to see Baz be dead um, unless Kuba does a troll and he's still alive but to me it seemed like all the death flags have been risen it's the same thing I mentioned before with Bleach if certain characters have a flashback show their full power and um, there was something else but I can't remember it it pretty much signifies death and as I said this was shown in this chapter and that was pretty much it for Baz B. he went down fighting he was a brilliant character and it's sad to see him go so it's literally leaving me thinking what will happen next will we see the aftermath and Hashwal is thinking will we see a flashback for him like you know part of seeing the um their flashback through his eyes or something like that or are we just going to move on to other stone writers or ichigo's group or the shinigami group it's literally um all up for debate now but as i said it was really really depressing and gosh i can't i can't um congratulate or say applaud Cooper more for this chapter and the rest of these flashbacks so as I said enjoyable chapter very emotional sad to see Baz be gone but I can't wait to see what else he has in store for us so if you enjoyed this chapter as much as I did and you were left really sad you know leave your comments in the comment box below let me know what you think and I'll speak to you guys next week take care